We can move in that direction as a country, in greater polarization, black people amongst blacks and white amongst whites, filled with hatred towards one, one another. Or we can make an effort, as Martin Luther King did, to understand and to comprehend and replace that violence, that stain of bloodshed that is spread across our land, with an effort to understand, with compassion and with love. For those of you who are black and are tempted to be filled with hatred and mistrust of the injustice of such an act, to all white people, I would only say that I can also feel in my own heart the same kind of feeling. I had a member of my family killed, but he was killed by a white man. But we have to make an effort in the United States. We have to make an effort to understand, to get beyond these rather difficult times. My favorite poet was Eschoes. He once wrote, even in our sleep, pain which cannot forget falls drop by drop upon the heart until in our own despair against our will comes wisdom through the awful grace of God. What we need in the United States is not division. What we need in the United States is not hatred. What we need in the United States is not violence, nor is it lawlessness, but is love and wisdom and compassion towards each other and a feeling of justice towards those who still suffer within our country, whether they be white or whether they be black. So I ask you to return home, to say a prayer for the family of Martin Luther King. Yeah, that's true. But more importantly, to say a prayer for our own country, which all of us love. A prayer for understanding and, com and, compa and that compassion of which I spoke. We can do well in this country. We will have difficult times, and we've had difficult times in the past. And we will have difficult times in the future. It is not the end of violence, it is not the end of lawlessness, and it is not the end of disorder. But the vast majority of white people and the vast majority of black people in this country want to live together, want to improve the quality of our life, and want justice for all human beings that abide in our land. Thank you.